Hey guys, I'm Tony from RadPad. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to share with you how you can live the American dream right here on the Pacific coast of Nicaragua. The coffee tastes even better when you're sitting on a hammock on the beach, the Pacific coast of Nicaragua. Now, finding land is the first challenge. I've been here almost four years and I've been searching the coast nonstop with my eye on undervalued property and how we can add value to it. That's why we started RadPad. We wanted to come up with a solution for building houses that wasn't too expensive and didn't take too long. Those are the two things that we really have going for us with RadPad. We've found a way of building houses for much less money in much less amount of time. And they're guaranteed to come out the way that you design them. When you're building in a third world country, you might design a house and it looks beautiful. And when it's done, it might be quite a bit different because you're building from non readily available materials and blah, 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 blah. It just doesn't come out the way that you thought it would. With the rad pad, it comes out the way you want, comes out in the time, you know, that said it was, takes us about two weeks to build a house. That's freaking amazing. Building a normal house can take nine months, a year, two years. We can build a house that you can live in that you'll be stoked in, in about two weeks. That's crazy. So first step is finding some property. Why is the Pacific coast so valuable in Nicaragua? It's because of the surf. To find a surf break comparable to one of the surf breaks here in Nicaragua would be like looking in the North shore of Hawaii. Now the North shore of Hawaii, if you're to get a, a piece of property in front of a killer break on the North shore of Hawaii, the property is probably going to be over $10 million. It's crazy but it's, on, it's an awesome break and it's in Hawaii and it's beautiful. And there's all those advantages. I don't think I can compare them apples to apples, but I can tell you, you can find an amazing break here in Nicaragua and you can find property on the beach and you can spend under $50,000. You can find a property in Nicaragua for under $50,000 on the beach with a very nice break next to it or directly in front of it. So why are the breaks so good here in Nicaragua? It has to do with the geography and the shape of the land. The land is very skinny. We have the Caribbean coast over here where the hurricanes come from. The wind is moving down from the Gulf of Mexico. It's coming down. It hits the land of Nicaragua, which is very skinny. And in the center of Nicaragua has this big, long lake. So when that wind hits it, it changes the temperature, increases the velocity, and then shoots wind offshore into the Pacific coast of Nicaragua. Now, the Pacific coast is positioned so that swell is coming in. It's pretty big. And the interval, that means there's a lot of waves coming in. Now, when this wind hits it, it carves it out. And that's what makes the shape to a wave. It doesn't matter if you got big waves and you got lots of them. If they're bumpy and no good, you can't ride them. But here in Nicaragua, the majority of them are good. This is why we get 300 days a year on average of offshore winds. That's amazing. 300 days. That means if you came to Nicaragua on a surf trip, the likelihood of you getting good shape, good waves, surfable, rideable waves is very high, making it one of the best surf destinations in the world. So let's find some property here in Nicaragua on the Pacific coast. Before we go check out property, I'm going to show you what a rad pad is and how it can be customized to whatever the heck you want your rad pad to look like. So first of all, we work with uh, galvanized steel. So galvanized steel is a very strong product. Uh, it's readily available. That's really important that when building in Nicaragua, you're not building with materials that need to be imported or exported or anything to do with that. So this is super readily available here in Nicaragua. Um, they're welded on site into these, these panels basically, and the panels then clip together. You can put as many panels as you want. It's like adult Legos. You just say, I want this house to look like this and clip, 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 clip. They go together. Um, inside each panel, we have a space. So one, two, and three. The reason they're so inexpensive is because each panel space is exactly the same. So there's only two different sizes to an entire rad pad. That's the bottom one and the middle one. Now the middle one could be moved to the bottom and the bottom could be moved to the top, but the bottom and the top are the exact same size to the millimeter. Our builder is crazy, crazy uh, 
two millimeters of difference and he won't use it. So they're exactly the same. Now some of the products that we use are super rad. So if you like recycling, I love recycling. I love doing something with plastic because it's gonna be here for a long time. So this company that we've partnered with, they're called Table Co. They're out of Nicaragua and they're actually one of Central America's only recycling plants. Now this product here looks like wood, looks like barn wood, it's amazing. It's one inch thick. Uh, it has so much insulation and it's tongue and groove. That means this slips into this piece. Each piece slip into each other so you can dump water on this all day and it cannot get inside. Um, so this product here is made of recycled bottles. The story on it is amazing. I'm gonna give it to you really short right now, but basically kids collect all these bottles. They bring huge big two meter by two meter bags of bottles. They give bottles to Table Co. and then Table Co. gives them a recycled chair and table for their school. And they've given out hundreds if not thousands of chairs and tables to schools here in Central America. So it's pretty rad. Now this is 100% recycled plastic. Uh, what we've done is we made a system for cutting these and installing them on rails. It only takes four screws to put this in and it is so strong. Uh, it's actually almost shotgun proof. Like you could shoot that with a shotgun and the bullets are not getting through. Not that that's important, I just wanna stress how freaking strong this stuff is. And again, 100% recycled right here in Central America. So this panel, you can choose. Do I want recycled plastic? They even make recycled plastic. These are bottles because I wanted to, there's so many bottles, like let's use the bottles. But there's also money. Money is a big problem for recycling because money's mainly made out of plastic. So right here, this company actually disposes all the Cordobas. Cordobas is the currency here in Nicaragua and they get them shredded and then they turn them into product. So you can get your walls made out of Quinientos, which is 500 Cordobas, so it's a pink color, or Diez Cordobas, which is a green. So you can have green or pink or the recycled bottles. So that's one of the products you can choose and you choose oh I want a recycled plastic one here I want you could have a window here whatever you want let's get into windows really quick the windows that we use are louver windows so they have these slats the reason we use slats is because if you use a traditional window that slides like that you only get 50% of the airflow it's very important to have airflow in Nicaragua we have four things that are that that must be our musts the four are airflow shade, drainage, and readily available materials. Those four things, every single thing of this rad pad uh, meets that criteria. So airflow, if you're in the shade and there's no air moving, you're hot. If you're in the wind and no shade, you're hot. If you're ever wet, it just sucks. <laughs> you got mold, you got all sorts of stuff when you don't have uh, drainage correctly. So with our roof, we have a four inch, um, insulated aluminum top and bottom panel roof with six inch drains and four inch downspouts. Water comes and goes, no problem. Everything's lifted off the ground. Even getting six inches off the ground keeps the air flowing underneath the house. So that means the air keeps going right through. When you don't have, when you have it sitting flat on the ground, the air stops there, but it just keeps on moving. So these louver windows are aluminum, um, brackets, the readily, readily available materials. The company we use has been in business 37 years right here in Rivas, Nicaragua. And we use these beach, these uh, beach glass here. When you shut it, you can't actually see through, but light still comes through. So you can have privacy. When you open them, you get maximum airflow flowing through this house. Let me show you the inside. It's pretty freaking amazing. Doors are one of the most important parts of a house. You open and close the door every day, all day, open, close, open, close. So if you get like a wood door, sometimes they expand and contract and then it won't shut right or it just doesn't work as well as these doors. This is a commercial door that we use from our window company. You can get them in mirror, you can get the filling however you want it. But the fact of the matter is that aluminum doesn't rust um, all the parts are commercial, so it opens and closes. The locks work, the handles work, nothing goes wrong. If you've been in Nicaragua, you'll notice that things go wrong with doors. These doors, nothing goes wrong with. It's a one-time purchase. Now for panels, you can choose, oh, floor. 
We've used the recycled uh, plastic floor beams again on the ground. Uh, it's my favorite product. When walking on it, it feels almost like a cork floor. It's got a little bit of give in it, but not much. Super, super strong. So that product can be used as floor. Of course, you can choose wood if you want. We do wood and we do recycled plastic. Those are our two options right now. Now for panels, if you choose say a window like this, when I close this window, um, super easy to open and close. Uh, when I pop it shut, now we can't see through at all um, and they can't see me, but I still get some light. So the windows, you can choose a slat window like that. You can choose a solid window if you want. Be very, very, think a lot about it when you do a, a solid window because that's gonna stop your airflow. Uh, it is a little less expensive, but just think about it a lot. Airflow is super important in a rad pad. Now you can choose a window and you can affect the price of your rad pad dramatically by choosing the different panels. In this one little Airbnb model, I call it, um, it's basically 16 panels around times three, the bottom ones, the center and the top. So if you change from a window, 16 windows to just a screen, this is literally just a screen. Um, a screen is going to be about 20% of the cost. So you can drop your price down a lot by using screens instead of windows. That's what we've done up top. Up top, we decided to go screens all the way around. So the cost of a screen is about 20% of a window. So that saved a lot of money up top and it keeps the airflow going all the time. So you can choose screens, you can choose louver windows, you can choose plastic or wood panels. You can move this panel to the bottom panel and have two little ones. The rule is you gotta have three panels per panel. <laughs> three panel spaces per panel. And that makes a rad pad. Do any shape you want. The smallest rad pad we do is a two meter. So that's one, two by four. One, two, three, four. That's the center part of this room is the smallest rad pad we do. I'll show you them over here as a commercial unit and as a test model we're doing for setting up hostels. If you're going to have bedrooms in a micro resort and they don't need washrooms, then the micro uh, hostel unit that we're making is really amazing. You can put up to three bunk beds in there charging $15 a night. It can yield you $45 a night per unit. So the return on that investment is pretty amazing. Let me show you what that looks like. We are now at the rad pad factory and this is pretty much all we use to make a rad pad and we only cut it into four different lengths and we only make two different sections. I'm going to explain the whole thing to you right now. So first this is galvanized steel. It's a three inch by three inch and the chapa or the gauge is DSA 6. That's a 16 gauge. It's pretty darn thick. The reason it's that thick is because it's easier to weld. It could be thinner and it'd be plenty strong, but we use the thicker so that the guys can weld it much easier. So the first thing that happens is these arrive in six meter pieces. Once you have a six meter piece like this, you take it and you put it on the chopper over here. It slides on to a certain point. There's only four different lengths, like I said, for making a rad pad. So if we were to cut the first length, we'd take this piece right here and it slides into that like that. And then this goes to the back, clamp it in, bring the saw down and cut it. And it cuts it exactly perfect. This type of saw is different. This is what's called a disco. <laughs> it's just a grind, it's a big grinder. And uh, you pull it back and cut it, shoot sparks all over the place. It's really loud and messy. And it gives you a bunch of burrs on the end of the cut. You have to clean those burrs off before you weld it or you get a nasty weld. So we started using this, which is called a band saw. And the band saw cuts like a razor blade through hot butter. It's amazing. So there's only four lengths. So that one, this one, when they slide up there, it gets it to the millimeter perfect cut. Once they have their piece cut, they come over to the jig. This jig builds our easy E system. The easy E's are for the vertical walls. They're made up of panels, as many panels as you want in whatever direction flow. You could literally build a rad pad around a tree. You could zigzag and do whatever you want. So first they take this piece that they've cut and they slide it into the jig. 
it'll only fit one piece. You can't really, there's no way to F it up. So you take your piece and you put it in here and it clips against the end, the sides, and then it'll clip against the end piece here. And then you go ahead and put your cross beams in to make the full E. Then we use something called a Easy Flux Welder. Basically you press this button and it feeds wire out through it and it's almost like working with a hot, hot glue gun. So they go pop, 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 pop. And then they take the E up and they flip it over and then they do the other side of the weld and they're done. And it takes them about 15 minutes to make an E from start to finish. Once they're done with the E's, they'll stockpile them over against the wall over here. The next thing they need to do is build a floor and a ceiling. So a floor and a ceiling are exactly the same except for two beams. There's two more beams on a floor than there is on a ceiling. So again, they're gonna go to the chopper. They're gonna cut their pieces to the right length. Come on over here. And this machine here is uh, for floors. So if it's a floor, they'll put a beam on every single one of these. One, two, three, four, five, and one here and one there. And then they go to weld it together. On this one, the welder is on this cool little sliding gig so they can just slide back and forth and get boom to that end to that end and get the floor done, lift it up, flip it over, do the other side, move it on over to here and we're ready to go. So technically to build our smallest rad pad unit, all you need is one floor and one roof. That is the two meter by six meter, this size right here. And then you need eight, nine, 10, 11 E's. 11 E's and boom, it's put together. We can assemble that after it's been welded together. We can assemble it in about 30 minutes, maybe an hour at max. Uh, then we put in a door and all the panels are filled with whatever you choose, whether it be glass, recycled plastic or wood. Then the roof goes on. We use a four inch foam uh, insert in between two layers of aluminum. They just clip together. They're super strong. They help with the sound and they have a humongous R value. They work wonderful with rain and water. There's no drainage. They overlap so they give you quite a bit of shade. Almost a meter in every direction uh, is the overlap for the roof. And that is a rad pad. All right guys, now I'll show you the marketing side of rad pad. This is how we find all the amazing properties in Nicaragua that we can pair up with our rad pads and help people find product services and experiences that are amazing here in Nicaragua. Because even though it's beautiful and the surf is amazing, you also need to know about how much is going on in Nicaragua. That's why we have everything Nicaragua and I'll show you exactly how we make it all happen. And this is where the editing happens. So on a work day, you'd see a bunch of dudes sitting around iPads here, editing videos, making rad things happen. Two shows that we do. One is I'm followed around as rad days and we see what happens for an entrepreneur in Nicaragua all day long. It's kind of like a reality show. That then is placed on our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and so on distributed. The other guys are editing shows. So what we do is we bring people into our studio, we do an interview, and then we put images of what's discussed in the interview behind us on a green screen. It looks like a TV in there. These guys are basically in here with headphones on, listening to the conversation and finding images to go into that blue screen on the back of the video. They're adding music and sound effects, that sort of thing. Then they're distributing that. So YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, that sort of thing. Uh, let me show you the studio so you can see where we create the show, which is called the B-Rad Show. So this is the B-Rad studio. We also shoot some Everything Nicaragua videos in here, but basically we invite anybody into the studio that's doing something rad in Nicaragua. Now, in Nicaragua, it's not the same as in the US, so you gotta use what you got. So we took a skateboard and we mounted our system to this, and this is how we get those awesome shots if you've ever seen a show. Now, over here is where, usually it's me interviewing somebody else over there, and behind us is the screen I was talking about. Now this screen, while we're talking, is gonna be just blue screen. Um, but as soon as we're done, the boys on the other side will edit it and change that blue screen to anything that I say. So if I start talking about parrots, there will be parrots on this. If I start talking about surf breaks in Popoyo, there'll be pictures of surf breaks in Popoyo. So when we interview somebody, we really get to like tailor the video to what it is that we're discussing together. No matter how unique a subject it is, we pretty are, you know, we're getting pretty good over there in the editing department at bringing 
uh, engaging video content behind the conversation. So that's how we're able to create so many videos and share with you the value that Nicaragua has, not just its businesses, services, and products, but it as an entire entity and how you can find property here at unbelievable prices on the beach in unforgettable places to make memories that are for a lifetime. And that is how it's done, why it's done, and what it's done with. How we do our marketing and why we do it so that we can share with you everything there is to know about Nicaragua and see that it is an amazing place to be. If you haven't seen Nicaragua from the inside out of a rad pad, you haven't seen Nicaragua yet. Come down to Mahiwal Beach and take a seat in my rad pad, look out at the beautiful nature, and feel the way we're supposed to feel here in Nicaragua. Thanks for watching. Contact me on my WhatsApp at 76076060. Adios, nos vemos.